guys welcome back to my channel so today I thought we could tackle a bit of a spring cleaning declutter of an area of my home that it has been neglected for a little while it's my cabinets that sit over against the wall and I don't know what it is about this space but when I first put it together it was extremely organized it's got eight little boxes inside of it and each one kind of had a specific purpose for what it was holding whether that was like crafting products or like home cleaning things and now it is a total mess because when I get busy I think I get overwhelmed and I kind of just grab things and put them away so that they're like out of sight out of mind and the rest of my home seems clean but that cabinet is overflowing now and it's getting to the point where I can barely shut the doors so <laughs> I'm gonna have to expose myself today and say that is what we're doing I'm gonna rip everything out of there and declutter the entire thing because actually what is really exciting that I do want to do is make an entire dedicated crafting shelf so I did get something very exciting that I ordered the other day and it's going to take up a little bit of room so I want to make sure that that has a special place where I can kind of pop it away and put all of like my materials and like you know the little cutting things and all of that sort of stuff in a particular area. So hope you guys really enjoy this and it gives you a little bit of motivation to declutter a couple of areas of your home particularly if you do kind of have any hobbies or a side hustle or you're into kind of crafting and DIYs yourself you will totally understand how messy that can get sometimes and how annoying it is when you really do want to relax and sit down and do a project and you can't find the specific things because they are all over the place in different hidey holes. Now these are the two cabinets that I'm talking about and I ended up getting these from Kmart and kind of upcycling them in a previous video so I'll leave that link down below if you're interested but basically these were just there for extra storage because I am in a studio apartment which is quite small so any extra storage I can get is an absolute blessing so I had these stocked full of a bunch of different things but like I said you can pretty much see one of the doors is open on that one and there are boxes and things all underneath them as well so I am desperate to get in there today and clean all of this up and I think it is time for us to get started. This is one small example of something that I want to pop onto the crafting shelf so I've really been getting into doing clay and I got this one just off Amazon the other day it was only like ten dollars for a kilo of white air drying clay so I haven't actually tried this yet but I thought it would be fun for a couple of cheap DIY projects and if I like it then I can buy some glaze and stuff and sort of make a few cute little things like a jewelry dish or some little vases and things like that so that's one of the little items that like I said I have a couple of tools and things to go with it and I really just have nowhere to put this at the moment. And again with the rest of my clay modeling stuff there is just so so much of this that I really need a proper shelf that I can actually store it all on. shelf that I actually want to turn into my dedicated crafting shelf because I thought this would be the most handy since if I actually wanted to sit down and work in that kind of area and almost use it as like a little desk I could easily just pull up a chair here and be able to sit in front of this cabinet while I kind of organize things so that's going to be the easiest location and then I think the two shelves below should be for all of the other kind of crafting supplies and things so I'm going to take all of that out as well and then we can go through all of the boxes that I've just put on the table and see what I can kind of either throw out, donate or reorganize and store somewhere else. This one is a bag of my nail supplies because during lockdown I was doing my own nails so I'm going to put all of this in my bathroom cabinet now because obviously it's more of like a beauty kind of product so it really doesn't belong in the storage cabinet. So if you have been around for a little while, you will know exactly what is in this box and there aren't actually many left of them, maybe about 40 in total. So I'll grab one out and I can show you, but basically these are 
my Moonlighter Sleep Mask, which is a little brand that I started and it was kind of around the time that the whole pandemic hit. But basically I've never been an amazing sleeper and I wanted to create a sleep mask that had these really deep eye pads and it's all made from like squishy memory foam. So these were a little bit of a side hustle kind of project and it was prior to even having my YouTube channel. I was just sort of looking in some kind of creative idea that I could work on in my spare time and yeah, I have about 40 of them left now and then that will be it. They will be all gone. So I'll leave the link to them if you guys are interested, but these will stay in this box because they are kind of all part of a business thing. And basically I've already got them sort of, sort of pre-packaged up. And then I also have like the little business thank you cards and things like that as well. So those all belong together in that box, but I don't want to be having things stacked in on top of it because that's what was starting to make it really messy. And then when I did sell one, I couldn't find them. Basically I started creating a few piles around me on the floor here that you can probably see. So this one is just a bunch of spare candles and like refills and things for my pillar candles. These are all the items that are going to be going into my bathroom area. Over here I've got anything that is kind of food related so sometimes in PR I will get sent things like these which is a little bit of like cacao or I've got a ton of supplements and things like that as well. So those all need to find a home in my pantry. And over here is just other stuff that is like books and things like that that need to go away in my bedroom. So let's get on to box number two and I will go through all of this as well. is now an empty box and I don't know if anyone else does this or if I'm being silly doing this but my dad always used to do it so it kind of got me in the habit of like do it collecting boxes but I've got boxes for some of my old tech things and it's mostly because they probably have an associated warranty or something or I don't know I just kind of keep them in case I ever move house or something so this is my podcasting microphone box so I've got that one I have my video microphone, which is sitting on the camera that you guys are on right now. And I've kind of got like the internet modem and things like that. So I don't really know if you need to keep these. Like I said, it's just kind of like a family habit thing that I got into, but I think I will just keep this as a little bit of a dedicated, um, like business supplies sort of box of things that I've bought just in case I need the packaging. So this box is a little bit of a game station because if any of you also were stuck in ISO, you would totally understand that you almost go crazy having nothing to do. So we did resort to some classic kind of games. So I have, you know, I've got a plain pack of playing cards. I have this kind of knockoff version of, um, oh my gosh, what's this called? What is it? Oh, Jenga. Sorry, that totally escaped my brain. So I've got that little set of Jenga. I have battleships and I also have Connect 4, which in my opinion is the OG of board games and my absolute favorite because I'm really good at it. So this little box is going to stay because I think it's always fun when you have a house party or something or it's Christmas time and you want to drag out a couple of games, but there is room in here for some other stuff. So I might just pop this one aside because I definitely think I can fill this box up a little bit more. Now, if you're Aussie, you will understand why I cannot bring myself to get rid of this. This is the quintessential TV show we used to watch after school every single day. And it's round the twist. So if you know the theme song, I'm sure it'll be in your head after seeing this, but I was obsessed with this show. So this is the complete box set series and I just need to hang on to it. This box again is just filled up with a ton of odds and ends. So I'm just gonna whip through this and put everything into its little categories so I can just get this all sorted out. So these two straight up are business related ones. This is my small tripod that I use when I am vlogging. And this little keyboard you might've seen me use in previous vlogs and it's just for using with my phone. So I'm gonna pop those both aside because they will go with a bunch of my business stuff. I'm making some good progress. This one is now an empty box. So I'm going to pop in all of the business kind of related stuff into this one. So I've got the tripod. I have a little Signet phone tripod. I've got my laser measure, which I use for my architectural stuff when I'm on site measuring up buildings. 
and the little keyboard. So we'll pop that one aside and I can add other things into it as I go. On to cupboard number two. Now the real aim of this game is to get rid of two of the boxes. So, so far I have one kind of empty one, but I really need to make sure that two of these boxes are completely empty. So this is a little bit of the messy aftermath, but these are all of the spare bags that I pulled out of that section. And these are two full bags of just all sorts of trash and things that I'm going to take downstairs to the bin room. And that felt very rewarding decluttering all of those because they are absolutely full to the brim. And now the most exciting part is I have this entire spare shelf free for my crafting things. Not sure if you can see little Momo's tail here, but he has just woken up from a nap and I have just finished doing all of that. So I'm not gonna lie, I am pretty exhausted. That was a really big task to take on for a Sunday, but I'm really, really glad that I got it done. It just feels so much calmer now that I know that entire space has been really, truly, thoroughly decluttered and all of the things that I didn't need have been thrown away or put in a little pile to donate and everything else has now found its proper home whether that was in the pantry in my bathroom or simply just like little gym things and bits and pieces that were hanging around so it's really nice to have that all organized now and I hope this gave you guys a little bit of a motivation to get on top of your little spaces as well because we only have six weeks until the end of the year which is crazy when you think about it so I hope you guys really enjoyed this video. Thank you for taking the time with me today and I will see you in the next one. Bye.